If I could have everybody's attention tonight, I'd like to welcome everyone to Lake City Middle School. Hope you're enjoying the ball games. We're going to take a few minutes at this time. We've got a special ceremony in store for you that we want to honor an individual that over the years has given so much of himself to Anderson County Schools. And at this time, it's my privilege to welcome to the podium one of our illustrious school board members, Mr. Dale Cantrell. We live in a time where it is lucky or good if one of our athletes or one of our students has a single good parent at home. I was fortunate enough to be blessed with two great sets of parents, my own mom and dad and Dr. and Mrs. Sexton. And we are here tonight to honor this gentleman for what he has done, not just for the community here in Lake City or Rocky Top, but for our county as a whole. Our history tells us that there came a time when Jacob had to fight God. And people, people don't think about that in the context that it comes, but in the history books, in the Bible, it says, Jacob battled with God, and Jacob stood alone. No one was with him. Jacob stood alone, and he fought all night against an opponent who could not be beaten. And in the morning, God touched Jacob's hip to dislocate it and said, end the fight, and Jacob would not. And God blessed him and said, from here out, your name will be Israel. For there to be a fight, someone has to stand up and be the first that says, I will go it alone. Those of you that have hair my color, that are my age or older, remember when our end of the county had nothing. Everything went to Clinton, everything went to Oak Ridge. Our end of the county got what was left over. And Dr. Sexton stood up and said, enough is enough. And because of his efforts, he was joined by other men and women of, of like candor and like cause, and now we have a thriving community. Now Lake City, Norris, Andersonville, Anderson County High School, these two middle schools, they're powerhouses. And it started with one man, this man, who we're gonna honor tonight. So first, let's begin our celebration with giving an applause to Dr. Curtis Sexton. Now our first speaker is, Dr. Sexton comes from a big family and has a big family. One of his relatives, his nephew Cameron, is the Speaker of the House of Representatives for our state, and he has driven out here tonight to help us honor Dr. Sexton. So we would ask Mr. Speaker if you would say a few words. Thank you, Dale. It's great to be here uh, to honor my uncle, who you all call Doc Sexton. And I remember coming to Lake City with my parents and uh, way back when, and to be truthful, I was born here in Lake City by my uncle uh, back in 1970. He was the first person to ever lay eyes on me. Whether that was a good thing or not, we'll debate that fact later on at a family event. But um, let me just say it's wonderful to have someone in our family um, like Uncle Kurt, who for over five decades has given back to his community more uh, than anyone would ever ask. And if you look at his family, his immediate family, and the type of people that he raised with Aunt Carol, and the type of people that they became and become and continue still to be with the next generation coming, it is a wonderful thing to be part of this family. Governor Lee and Lieutenant Governor McNally sends their best. They couldn't be here tonight. But we look forward to uh, honoring my great uncle, who we admire a lot in my family. And uh, there's not a day that doesn't go by when we see him at their family reunions that Uncle Kurt doesn't put a smile on your face and continue to ask you how everyone's doing in your family, and that's a pretty big family that we have. So thank you all for allowing me this opportunity to be here. Thank you for honoring my uncle, and I look forward to many great things to our state. Thank you. Dr. Tim Parrott has a proclamation to read on behalf of the Anderson County Board of Education and the Anderson County Commission. Dr. Parrott. Thank you. 
I'm going to ask for a little help here. So if you, if you don't know who Mr. Val is, right? Let's give him a big round of applause. What he does. For the <laughs> Before we get started, I've known Dr. Sexton literally all of my life as well as I'm sure most of you have. Uh, known him as a doctor, uh, known him as uh, a friend. My grandmother worked for he and Dr. Burrow for a while, and it was always fun to go to the doctor when Dr. Sexton was your doctor. So I'm very proud and honored to be standing here with y'all tonight. This is a resolution passed by the Anderson County Board of Commissioners, resolution number 19-12-787, and it reads, whereas Dr. Curtis Sexton, a longtime resident of Rocky Top, Tennessee, is a seventh generation East Tennessean, and whereas Dr. Sexton was educated in Scott County Schools, Monroe County Schools, and Tennessee Tech University, and graduated from the University of Tennessee College of Medicine in June 1962. Currently, he practices medicine part-time with Community Health of East Tennessee Incorporated in La Follette and is affiliated with numerous area hospitals. And whereas, in addition to the practice of medicine, Dr. Sexton is known as a friend to the public education, and he was instrumental in the creation of the Education Foundation for Clinton City and Anderson County Schools more than 15 years ago. He was the chairman of the Advisory Committee for Anderson County Career Technology Center for over 20 years, and whereas Dr. Sexton also served as a member of the Anderson County School Board that voted to merge Lake City High School and Norris High School into the new Anderson County High School. He was also a big part of helping select Anderson County High School's mascot, the Maverick, and the school colors of navy blue and gray. And whereas in November 2018, Dr. Sexton was recognized by the Education Foundation as a Gail Martin Champion of Hope for extraordinary commitment to the success of every student every day. And I'll turn it over to Dr. Parrott. And whereas Dr. Sexton has been a longtime supporter of education and community activities within Anderson County, including as a member of the local education commission, the Lake City Optimist Club, the United Way, and the trustee for the Carson Newman College, and the State Health Planning Council, the Anderson County and East Tennessee Regional Health Council of Tennessee, the Tennessee Labor Workforce Board, the Anderson County Health Department Advisory Board, and the Health Facilities Commissioner. He also served as chairman of the Anderson County Emergency Medical Service Advisory Board, and the Anderson County Schools Vocational Advisory Doctor Board. Dr. Sexton is also the founding board member of the Boys and Girls Club of North Anderson County. Additionally, he has worked with several ministries in East Tennessee and for the past and served for many years as a deacon in Main Street Baptist Church in Rocky Top. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Anderson County Board of Commissioners, the Anderson County Mayor, the Anderson County School Board do show our deepest appreciation to Dr. Sexton's unending service and dedication to the families, children, and the community, and his efforts to make Anderson County a better place for generations to come. In recognition, we do hereby pro proclaim January 13, 2020 as Dr. Curtis Sexton Day in Anderson County. Furthermore, on this day and forevermore, Anderson County Lake City Middle School's gymnasium will bear the name the Dr. Curtis Sexton Gymnasium. Struck. I, I didn't realize I'd been this busy over the years. I thought we would come here tonight to honor uh, Stanton Martin again. <laughs> but anyway, uh, 
I guess the first thing I want to say is how thrilled I was to walk in here and see the crowd supporting these two middle schools. Uh, I, I, that hasn't changed. And that's just, uh, it's the way it was when, when my children played here. And that's the way it still is. And I look forward, as I live out the rest of my life, seeing it still stay the, the same. Uh, I don't have a lot to say. There's another half of the ball game to be, is there a half or a full game? A half. I have to be played. I'm really proud of Cameron here. Cameron, I don't know if he ever played here, but I know he was the point guard for Oak Ridge in the day. I wish he had been here. But uh, he's doing a really good job, and uh, we're, we're proud of him. And Dr. Parrott and the school board, my longtime friend, partner, and associate, Dr. Burrell, is still the chairman. And, uh, uh, and then uh, you've got the uh, uh, Greg Deal, who is just doing an outstanding job. I can just go down the line. The, our school system is absolutely a role model for the rest of the state. I, I think you all ought to applaud all of our school system. And the principal here, and everybody yeah. 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 Uh, Dale Cantrell is like a son to me. And Shane, I have known. I don't think I delivered you, though. <laughs> But uh, he's doing a really good job, and I, I don't. Uh, the other, one of the other, two of my grandsons have have this gentleman over here. He used to be our pastor at Main Street, uh, Don Martin, uh, and so uh, we get a lot of help on those uh, on those two grandsons. But we get a lot of help from the communities, as you all are seeing here. I just want to say that uh, I am proud of my family. And this is my great niece right here. Greer, hold your hand up. <laughs> I'm so glad she could make it too. We've got other family members that are other places in, in the world tonight, but this, is, this represents a good group. Oh, there's Melissa. <laughs> Melissa, did you go all four years here? You did, didn't you? And uh, I know Jenny went uh, one year, and uh, Pete went... How many years here? Three years? And I, I don't know. I don't know. So we have a, we're having a little reunion about that. But thank you so much. And I don't know if I can continue to live up to all these accolades that they were presented here tonight. But I'm going to do my best every time I see a patient. And, uh, and I'm going to continue to support this school and, and Norris too. Uh, both of them together make up a fine uh, competition level, and I'm glad to see that uh, it, the outcome cannot be predicted prior to the game either. So thank you. And I know I've left something out, but uh, thank you anyway. Before you step down, yeah. hold our applause. Uh, Reverend Martin, if you would come forward. Dr. Sexton, the first two things he ever taught me were to respect the flag and to respect the church. And so we felt that it would be very nice if his in-law would say a prayer and a blessing for this church. So Reverend Martin, if you would stand here with Dr. Sexton. Would you bow with me as we pray together? Father God, oh Father God, we thank you for all the marvelous blessings that are ours through Christ Jesus our Lord. Many lives have been touched in this place and this community through the years. Oh, precious Lord, tonight we honor a man who you have used to bless us for many years, Dr. Curtis Sexton. As you have blessed him, Father, he has blessed us. Dear God, dear God, Tonight, we just give thanks to you, Father, for using him to bless us. We give thanks to Dr. Sexton for being a man used of God to bless so many families. And now, Lord, we ask that you would bless this place, that it might be continually a blessing in our community, that young men and young women will pass through this place, and in them will be instilled the character and the moral disciplines and your will for their lives. God, thank you for all you've done. Thank you for all you're gonna do. 
and especially thank you for blessing us with this man as you continue to bless our community through this place dedicated in his name. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Now you may applaud.